Squarespace Resume Tutorial Creating Resume Website on Squarespace Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily build our own resume website using Squarespace. They provide us the opportunity to create them from scratch or we can easily customize one of the templates. So here we are on squarespace.com and this is our start page. If you are new, you just simply need to click on get started and you'll have to create an account. I'm going to click on get started and we'll come to our templates where we can find a lot of templates we are we can easily use and as you can see uh, in the left side there is like option to change between different types and as for me resume is the most suitable as a portfolio template so we can simply just choose this one here and there is like also option to change the topic but I think but we can simply customize every single website for us so I won't choose anything. So if you'll scroll down for a little, we can find a lot of different works uh, we can easily use to customize. And as for me, uh, there are a lot of them we can easily use, but I'm going to use this one. I think the resume option is the most suitable as for this one here. So let's click on preview. And as you can see, it looks like this. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. So as you can see, it's also responsive. So we can easily use different devices to watch this website. And as for me, it's pretty cool because they provides us the opportunity to use responsive already templates. So let's click on start with this design. And we'll come to the page we are going to use like a management, but firstly we need to uh, change the name. Let it be like resume. Let it be like this. So I'm going to click on continue, next, next, and get started. And here we are on our managing page. And what is important here that we can simply manage our pages. So if you'll come to page area, we can find all the navigation here, as you can see in the like website it looks like this so we can simply just change the order or do some other stuff and as you can see it was also changed here so from this page this is the most like important feature let's go back to home also we have the design area where we can customize every single element here so i'm going to click on side styles i'm just starting to customize so i'm going to click on font and from this page here i'm going to change the font pack so i'm going to Click here, uh, find the most suitable as for me. And I think this one is pretty cool or maybe even, even this one here. So I'm going to click on save. And in a few seconds, the wall like template will be successfully changed in the like font templates. So as for me, it's pretty cool. Let's go back to size styles and go to colors. On this page, we can easily change the color palette for our website. So uh, it's also a really important feature as for me. So I'm going to use this like green color here. Let's click on save. And in a few seconds, all the changes will be successfully sa saved as for us. So let's go back to colors, side styles and close. So I'm going to uh, show you some more features. We can easily go to analytics and from this page here, we can manage all the traffic to our website. So for example, if you share the link, you can easily try to uh, recognize uh, did this guy visited your website. So we can find the traffic, geography, traffic sources and like even manage search keywords. So let's go back. And to edit our website, we just simply need to click on edit right up here in this corner and we'll come to our editor page. So here we are. Firstly, you need to know that all the websites are built from different sections. So this is our section with our, for example, like introduction. So we can just simply manage all the text here. So we can click. So in change, hello, my name is, for example, Ilya and just change something some other stuff. We can simply make it bold, italic, change the color. So there are a lot of features, all the features like in just in some other like, you know, editors, we can even add the link here, change the alignment, make it as a list and so on. We can add some sections if you'll click. So for example, if you need to add like contact info or do some other stuff, you can find it here find the about section to add some information maybe about our works and so on. People, products, services, all the sections are right up here. 
so you can easily uh, try to find something which is suitable as for you like some of like quotes member areas appointments and so on so let's add for example our uh, contact info so i'm going to use this and this one here and as you can see it was successfully added here we can manage the wall section we can move it down uh, we can easily like delete we can duplicate or do some other stuff let's change this image here so i'm just going to click on it and then just click on edit and i'm going to click on replace to find something which is suitable for example as for portfolio uh, maybe this like let it be this picture here for example i'm a photographer maybe and this picture was created for me uh, so these are the ways basically of how can we manage every single part uh, we can manage the form here as you can see we can just simply click we can manage the content like form name button text edit form fields we can easily like change the, for example if you don't need like email we can delete it from here or do some other stuff and in this case uh we can um, edit every single element here also we can easily add some blocks for example blocks are like elements like text button form newsletter accordion audio video image there are a lot of options we can easily add for example let's add maybe some button here we can easily click and we can easily replace so let's change it let's click on edit change the design so make it the secondary button content let it be text like subscribe and here we can add the link to our maybe instagram or youtube channel so there are a lot of options we can easily manage from this page here and in this case so we can add something more for example let's try to add some image maybe so let it be here let's click on plus and I also try to find something from stocks for example this one here and as you can see the navigation is quite easily and intuitively like understanding so i suggest you to try it by yourself and it will be easy as for you to get started so you can just simply come here and try okay i'm going to click on save and i'm going to exit because i want to introduce you the paid plans as you can see they have like personal business and also two plans for e-commerce so as a personal it's like only 16 dollars per month and they also provides us the opportunity to start it from free so we can easily start our free trial it's like for 14 days and then you can decide easily do you want to like use personal or business or maybe you'll try you'll try to switch to another site builder so this is a way of how can we use squarespace to create our resume website hope guys this video helped you out if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below i wish you a very good day goodbye